Mark Michelle, these dry fields combined with the gusty winds were a perfect recipe for a fiery Friday here in the Miami Valley. That is why tonight there's a burn ban restriction in place, which means no open burning, especially in weather conditions such as this. Firefighters are also cautioning farmers to keep an eye on their machines. A piece of farm machine is what sparked the flames in Dark County. 45 fire engines from four counties, along with dozens of firefighters, fought hard to get this field fire under control. Neighbors could see the flames racing across these brown fields. There was flames probably 10 foot high in the fields moving this way. I estimate 20 mile an hour. Uh, they were just racing across the field. One home was damaged, another destroyed. Firefighters say they've seen nothing like it. What the guys go through out in California on those wildfires, I've not, I'd never seen anything like that in a bean field before, but it was. Crews fought hard to save this home on Foreman Road, but 40 mile an hour wind gusts made the job tough. Firefighters say it all started when a harvesting machine overheated in the field, tossing out a few sparks. Firefighters call these soybean fields a tinder box. Now, mature soybeans typically look this brown, but what makes it so dry is the foliage down there. A few sparks and a few seconds later, 70 acres of land engulfed in flames. Neighbors watched helplessly. I was afraid the wind was going to shift and either go into the houses in the woods or go back towards our home. Thankfully, that field fire has now been contained. Now, firefighters are also cautioning those of you who, dis who smoke to watch out for your cigarette butts. Make sure you don't toss them onto this dry ground. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side.